welcome back to Stray Trains. In this video, we're going to take a look at various docks and shunts across Melbourne's metro network and talk a little bit about what exactly is a dock and a shunt. Hope you enjoy the video. While some of the movements we'll see later on in the video don't occur all the time, this is a regular move that happens multiple times a day every weekday during the peak AM and peak PM. Once passengers have been cleared off the train, the boom gates are only then lowered and the signal is given for the train to proceed to the yard, which you'll notice once the boom gates are down there is a yellow small signal that illuminates. Then the train may proceed through the level crossing en route to the yard. The actual shunt into the yard is rather interesting at Morty Alec here. After the train leaves platform 2 it does sort of like a teacup move, so it goes a little bit to the right and then back to left as the sidings is just past the level crossing on the left, which we'll see in the next clip. So what exactly is a shunt? Well, a shunt is basically a move when a train runs empty from the platform, generally speaking, into a yard or sidings. So every time a train is done with its service for the day, it will shunt off to the yard. This doesn't necessarily mean that the train has to be shut off and could still return to some sort of running later on in the day. The shunt just refers to the actual movement of a train coming from a platform or somewhere into a yard. These must be done as empty carriage movements without any passengers. <laughs> As this train shunts into the sidings at McLeod. On the other hand, a dock is the complete opposite move. That is when a train is leaving the sidings or yard onto the platform or somewhere else. So effectively, if you want to think about it like this, when a train is ready to leave the yard or sidings, the train is docking up. And then when the train's ready to go back and stable, it is shunting out.
Sometimes there is a move called a shunt and redock that occurs where we see both a shunt and a dock happen within very close proximity of each other. This could sometimes be due to a tray needing to move out of the way on a platform. For example, here at Sunbury, where we see this extrapolous train shunt into the sidings. This could be for an oncoming train, such as the V-line, for instance, or just a positional requirement. Customers on platform one, train arriving on platform one is not taking passengers to the report this service on platform number one. Customers do not report this service on platform number one. Stand clear. 